Okay, Adam. Um, quite a comfortable victory, 6 0. Um, another hat trick for Riley Pierce. Your over overall thoughts of the game? Oh, yeah, I thought um, obviously really good performance. Clean sheet uh, again. Um, it's been really, really important. Um, yeah, I thought we, we controlled large parts of the game well. There's some really good um, patterns coming out first half, I thought. And then second half, um, yeah, we sort of really stepped on again. And maybe, you know, they've done a lot of chasing maybe first half. And then second half, we got our rewards where maybe a little bit tired for them. Um, I think how we're playing and dominating the ball, the opposition have to really concentrate. And it does sort of wear, can wear teams down if we get it right. Yeah, I thought the the, the flick from Oli Pius uh, to play Keely in was an exceptional moment of quality for, for that goal. Um, you know, that's what you like to see. Yeah, 100%. You know, like any fan, um, those clever bits of play in and around the box, um, you know, it's what we want to see from our forward players. Um, you know, we stick to a quite rigid sort of structure up to that final third, but then it's over to the players and to be creative and, you know, come up with stuff themselves. So, yeah, really pleased that that one's come off. Um, and, yeah, I thought Callum took it to his goal well and I'm just glad he's uh, got some rewards because I thought he worked really hard first half for us. Yeah, and obviously Callum's come back back into the team. He's contributing, he's scoring goals. How important is him and Oli Pierce towards the end of the season going to be with 14 left now? No, yeah, definitely, and it's good that they're there for the confidence. Um, you know, Dejan come back in today, um, and you know worked really hard and, and done well, and Jasper on the other side. And I think now throughout throughout the team, what we have got is good competition for places. Um, you know, Will Seager, um, Pat, and Luca didn't get on the pitch today. Um, Luca wasn't involved, and you know he's been excellent, um, especially in midweek. I thought they defended brilliantly. So mm. there's going to be certain games that they're going to be needed for. Um, but yeah. Really, really pleased that we've got a clean sheet and them two are linking up so well at the top. OK, are you happy with the squad for the rest of the season or will you be looking to add, add something to it? Yeah, if something comes available, I think you'd be stupid not to sort of um, turn it down. And like I say, good competition at this sort of stage is really sort of healthy. And the lads, when they get the opportunity, you know, they know they've got to be at their level best and you know, it should make everything really competitive now. Um, going into a big part of the season, some big games coming up and um, you know you want training sessions to be really vibrant and I think that will bring that, having that competition. Okay, and on, on the injury front, where do we stand? Obviously Danny Bark is suspended obviously at the moment, Yeah. Um, <sighs> but you've got Marvin Armstrong who you put back in today as well, uh, doing that sort of messy job in midfield yeah. I, I'd call it, this, this scrappy work, um, but any other major injuries? Or no, I don't think so. I think it's all um, relatively healthy again, which is a real bonus uh, for this stage. Um, Aaron obviously come back um, after his little one was ill last week and, and stuff like that. So you know, I think he's a massive player for us to have back as well. Um, Miki and uh, Ty are back running now. Um, Parso is doing bits of running as well. So you know, three really good, good players there. Uh, and obviously Danny's suspension will be over on Saturday. So. So um, I think in a couple of weeks we'll have um, at least three of them players back um, and pass them maybe a bit more towards the end of the end of the month. Okay, and we, we were looking at goal difference today because at one point Enfield went top of the league. Oh, really? <laughs> and we was, yeah, we were looking at goal difference and obviously, you know, the six goals today, um, obviously we won the league, win the league but with points rather than goal difference. But how important is that? Because Enfield keep winning and winning and winning. And oh, we've yeah, got to stay on our game. Yeah, really, really sort of strong side. Um, got really a lot of firepower up top. Uh, so, yeah, but yeah, all, all we'll continue to do is just focus on, on the next game, um, most of them away. Um, I know that's going to be a real tough test, but if we can perform anywhere near like we did today, we know we'll go there and give a good account of ourselves. And that's the main focus now. Yeah, and obviously uh, Bishop sort of dropped points today. Hornchurch dropped points today because they've been on a hell of a run. Um, so, are, are you fearful of any of the teams be behind us in, the, in sort of the chasing pack? Because there is quite a bit of a gap there. But if we take our foot off the metal, as it were, then you know it gives them opportunities. So it's just about staying on the ball and making yeah. sure every game we go at the same 
temperament to go out and make sure we win that game. Yeah, that's it. Um, we won't, we never have done this very boring answer I'm going to give here, but we're just fully focused on our performance. Um, we'll analyse it, see where we can improve, and there will be little, little bits of improvement as well in our tempo and that for, that we can take into next week. Um, and focus on that game, and that's all we do. I mean, what happens in and around us is not not in our hands. We can't control it. All we can control is what we do on the pitch and our performances. So that's all we all we focus on. Um, don't don't look at what happens around us. Like I say, it's out of our hands. We just focus on what we can do. Yeah, obviously, obviously the sub hands looking at it differently. We're, no, we're of like always looking at yeah. teams going, oh. No, that's right, yeah, and, and you know, that's that's for them them to do. Um, and, and not us, we just focus on ourselves and that's how we've always done it. Uh, like I say, very, very boring answer for you, but that is how we how we go about it. And if our performance levels drop at all um, in training or anything like that, then we'll be on it um, like we always are and just got to make sure that we keep on performing. Okay, um, I'm going to briefly go back to Wednesday night because yep. um, I thought it was uh, the youngsters and I, I, I thought it was a fantastic performance. We're, they're, they're a big team, um, ex quite a lot of experienced players yeah. and for you to blood some of those youngsters, great experience for them. Um, but what were your ever thoughts of no, that? Yeah, it was brilliant. Uh, yeah, obviously um, Kyle and Maxwell from the under 18 has got a start and Owen, Frankie and um, other Owen Spicer you know, managed to get on the pitch as well. So that's brilliant from five of our under 18s to, to, to get that kind of exposure against a good side. Um, and like I say, I thought they I thought they'd done very well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, also some big performance for Will, probably one of the best games he's had for us. Yeah. And you know, hoping that he can grow in confidence now between now and the end of the season. Um, but yeah, delighted, delighted, really delighted with that performance because I felt in other games we've been a little bit of a soft touch and I don't think it was on that night. We really defended with a lot of aggression and I was delighted that, you know, we kept a clean sheet and another one today, so it's something that we've got to start building on. Okay, um week off this week really. Two two full blown training yeah. sessions before Mersum. Yep. So what what will you be working on? Will you just be the coaches you've gone to look at the video of today and yeah. as you said just see what you can do yeah, that's do it, better. Yeah. That's right, yeah. Um you know, Merstum away <coughs> be a different test again. It might be a little bit more physical. We don't know what the, the pitch is gonna be like up there. So yeah, we've got to be prepared and, and ready for sort of whatever comes our way and um, like I say, yeah, we just stick to what we've always done, and that's analyse ourselves and see where we can improve, and try and you know just touch on touch up on those weaknesses, but also you know enhance the good stuff that we've been doing as well. Yeah, and um, one question I always mean to ask you, and I never get round to it. Hurry up! It's very hot in here. But... <laughs> it's very hot in here, isn't it? Jeez, it's on full blast. Like, yeah. <laughs> Is do you prefer plastic pitches or the grass pitches? The team? Yeah. Um. <sighs> At this time of year, yeah. At this time of year, I think you know, you know what you're gonna get. I think our one here as well now is exceptional and really helps us play. Um, but yeah, that's you go away and there's some bumpy services, grass pitches. But um, yeah, it's it's what what you've got, got to deal with at this time of year. Um, you know, things start drying out a little bit, and yeah, you probably don't get as much water on the pitches at this level what maybe you do at the higher levels. Um, so. That can be a factor for how we have to play, but yeah, I think a nice, nice grass pitch, and you got similar to, to what we've got out there. So um, yeah, we can't can't let it bother us at all. We've got to just adapt with whatever we get got got to deal with, really. Okay. I said I'm not gonna give you an answer, really. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. cheers, cheers, Adam. Thanks for that. Um, you know. Like I say, we. We'll have to cut it because yeah, we've got to go. Oh, we're going to end up taking our clothes off because oh, it's about thirty-five oh, degrees. It's got a bit hot in here, really. <laughs> nice one. It's tropical. Yeah. All right. See you next Saturday. Cheers, mate. Thank you.